Good day and welcome, my name is Matthew. Over the past few months and years actually, many people have asked me, can I detach this red and black laser from the trolley wheelbase that it comes on and they've purchased it off eBay and they can't get it through the standard house door or unit door that they want to um, fit their machine in. And the answer is yes, it can be done, but it's not a nice, simple, uh, quick, undo a few bolts and we're done. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, um, dismantle this cabinet from the trolley wheelbase so that you can fit it through the door and into your property. Now the height of this machine as it sits on its casters is 965 millimeters, which is approximately 38 inches tall. Without the uh, trolley base on this model, we can get it down to uh, 525 millimeters, which is about 20 and three quarter inches. So that will fit through a standard door. So in this video, I'm gonna show you just step by step process required and like I said it's not a simple process but it is one way if you want this machine and you need to get it inside uh, this is how you would do it. Now I do need to put a disclaimer in there that the demonstration I'm going to show you is for this particular model and at uh, the time of manufacture they used this process to affix the cabinet to the trolley base but if newer models are fixed differently then you better off checking with your manufacturer or retailer to ensure that this process is going to be adaptable to your machine. Now step one would be to remove the honeycomb table. I'm only doing that so that you can see through the videos. Um, it's not necessary that you remove the honeycomb table, but the honeycomb table does need to be in the utmost position. The honeycomb table can be removed quite easily by using the four screws in the corners, and then you can slide that out. So step two would be to remove this protective cover from the belt drive system underneath. Underneath that is where some of the screws are to hold it down on the front rail. So just using an Allen key, remove those screws from the front edge as well as the back edge. You will also need to remove the two panels to separate them so that you can get this panel out. And once you've removed those screws, you can lift out the cover panel. And that will reveal the screws that are holding it into the trolley base or the wheel base. So we can see on this machine here, we have these three screws at the front here, and there's also some at the back. So if we have a look under the machine, we'll see we've also got two rails going from the front to the back, and they can be seen here. And into those are screwed the pulleys for the Z axis and the belt drive system. So because the bolts of those go into those rails, you'll also need to remove those. And just check to see whether the bolts for your stepper motor mount protrude through the bottom of the machine, or whether they go into the back rail. If it goes into the back rail, you'll also need to remove those. And under the cover of the electrical enclosure, you'll also need to remove the screws that hold in the stepper drivers and have a look along that edge rail. Any screws that go through into the trolley base, you'll need to remove those. So now you'll be able to uh, have someone help you carefully pry it off the base and then lift it down onto the ground. So now you can safely move this with a couple of people into your property and then lower it back down onto the trolley base and make sure that you fix all the bolts back in securely and that the Z belts are nice and tensioned and that they operate freely. And don't forget to re-screw the fixings back into the axis drivers so that they don't rattle around inside your machine. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos in the future. And until next time, take care. Cheers.